Yo, what up guys, welcome back to another video today. In today's video, we finally got the package that I promised from last video. Right here, finally got it. We're gonna unbox this, go outside, jump the car up, and install this. All right, so the package is right here. I'm gonna get this unboxed, I'm gonna show you guys what it is right now, but first, we need a knife right here. Um, camera in one hand, knife in the other hand. I'll be right back. And what do we have here from ECS Tuning? Oh, it's dumb receipts. Okay, get rid of that. So right here, we actually have a wheel stud conversion kit, as you can see the camera focuses. Wheel stud conversion kit. Got all 20 of them here. And we're gonna install this on the car. Because as you guys know, if you drive a German car or a BMW, Audi, I think Porsche is the same way, I'm not sure. Um, they have wheel bolts, whatever you want to call them. People call them such different things. But now this is a stud conversion, so it's easier to take off the wheels. It just makes life so much easier um, for when you need to take off the wheels to clean them or do whatever you want to do with it, to do tires or whatever. So this is going to be a nice mod. I'm going to show you guys how to install them and what they look like because they make the wheels look so much better as well. Let's get started. All right, car's in the front yard now. Got the breaker bar. I'm gonna take off the back wheels first, do the back side first, and then we're gonna go to the front. And so let's get these done. I'm gonna get, put you guys on a tripod, take the wheels off. All right, so if you guys did not know what I was talking about before with the, uh, the bolts versus the studs. So these are the bolts. Right here, so these are actually bolts that go in through the wheel into your hub. And now the studs are gonna be the ones that stick out. And you put a nut on there to tighten your wheel down. So we're almost done. Obviously taking the rest of these bad boys off. All right, so coming back to the workbench now, I'm gonna show you guys what you need to do to get this job done. So we've got all the things laid out here. What you're gonna need is a 3 16 um, Allen head to put into a torque wrench because you're gonna need to torque these new studs down to 25 foot pounds of torque. At the end of the studs, they have this little Allen key right here that you can put this into to torque them down properly. All right, so coming down to the hub itself, um, I'm gonna grab one of these, the stud itself actually here, grab an Allen key, put it in the torque wrench, and get this going. All right, so got this. First, we're gonna do with our hands, thread it on in there, like so. Do that to all five. All right, so once you've done that to all five of them, screw them lightly in into the uh, hub, grab your torque wrench, set 25, put this on there, your Allen uh, head, stick it on there, torque them down to 25 foot-pounds of torque. Take it off, and now they're in. Wheel studs are in. Do it to all four corners, let's do it. All right, now that the conversion studs are in, Let's get the wheels on and see how they look versus the front ones that are still stuck. All right, the wheel fits on great, looks pretty cool. Before we actually put the nuts on, that's how it looks. Looks a lot cooler looking, right? <laughs> Makes it easier. All right, I'm gonna go grab the nuts and uh, torque it down to spec. All right, just got everything on, um, the rears at least. Check out how cool it looks. I mean, it's definitely a must do. Looks so much more race car like. Definitely love it. Looks so much cooler. You pretty much just tighten those regularly, like a regular stud. Goes on nicely. Look at those versus the front. Look how ugly those look. They're all mismatching. This just looks like shit, to be honest. Definitely that compared to this is a huge plus, huge plus. And doing this makes it so much easier if you're at the racetrack or at a tire shop or you just need to get done, your brakes done. It makes it so much easier to do it, take off your wheels, put them on super quickly and way less chance to strip your uh, your hub. What happened to me? Yeah, unfortunately, but life's life. This is why I did this, to not strip my hubs. Also, while we're doing this, um, I'm gonna take the time also to raise my coil over because in the wheel, vi wheel video, as I showed you, look how tight that fitment is. I surprisingly don't rub that much, to be honest. Like, it doesn't rub that much really at all. As you can see, the tire doesn't really have that much rubbing on it. Um, but I'm still gonna raise like an eighth inch just to give me that little more clearance that I need to not rub at all. So, I'm gonna show you guys how to do that as well. All right, got the wheel off. 
right here. And on the last video, I told you how my uh, inside of my wheel was hitting my strut. Well, there's this the spacer, a tiny little thing. Does the job. Definitely do that. So now we're gonna raise the car. I hate saying that raise the car, but raise the car about an eighth inch. I'll show you guys how to do that the, right now. All right. So now that we have the wheel off, here is the coilover. Now SD coilovers are a bit um, different than conventional coilovers. It's super easy to adjust these things. That's why I love how KW designed these SD coilovers. That it's super easy to adjust. So all you're gonna need is an Allen key, like so. It's super tiny, super tiny Allen key. And the side, right there, you guys see that little hole right there? Right there where my finger is, it's a little Allen key. All you're gonna need to do is put your Allen wrench into that hole, turn left, have the little screw come out about, I don't know, a quarter inch, and then I'll show you guys what to do next. Take your Allen key out, and now watch how simple this is. Grab this collar, and just spin it like that. See how it's spinning? It's that simple and just make sure you count your um, collar rings to make sure you know exactly how high you're going and to match the other side. So on the other side, there's 14 of these. And right now there's 12, I just raised the two little ones. Not a lot, but just something that I can get a little more clearance out of my uh, fender here. So I'm gonna do that, I'll be coming back in one sec. So right now I raised it, that's 13, I got one more to go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 11, 12, 13, and on the bottom of the 14th ring. So take your Allen key, put it back in there, in a little hole, and just tighten it back up. It's super, super simple. Unlike the ones where there's two uh, collars or two um, adjusting rings, that's super a pain in the ass. These are super easy, just make sure it's hand tight like, like so, and you're good to go with your coilover adjustment. So let's get these uh, these studs in like the video is intended to do and then we'll see how it looks. All right, the car is back on the ground. Check us out. It looks so much better. I still gotta do the hub. I know I'm slacking, I'm slacking, I know. I think next week I'll do the hub. <laughs> my buddy's gonna do it. I don't really wanna do it. I don't wanna mess with that kind of crap, so my buddy's gonna do it. But these look so much better on both sides. That's so much easier to work on the wheels now and take this off and do the brakes and stuff, so definitely looks better too. Honestly, it's a looks thing too, honestly. You know, subtle flex. But now that we did the coilover adjustment, check out the coilovers now. It's a little bit higher, and you can totally tell. Definitely a little bit higher. Still great fitment, but now I can fit a finger in there. See? So, definitely, definitely looks better. Helps it out a little bit more. I also want to give a quick shout out to my boys at SSR Performance down in SoCal, the shop that does all my performance stuff. They sent me out some goodies. Got a mini windshield banner now. Looks pretty badass on there. Also gave me some more little ones and their license plate frame SSR Performance. So thank you, Shaw. I appreciate you guys. Always can always help me out. So I think that's gonna do it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, the next video is gonna be a rally. There's a rally in county um, with all the local car guys. We do a rally around the county and it's for like a charity event for kids for the gift stuff. So um, I'll be filming and vlogging that. It should be really cool. Love to give back and give presents back to the kids that are less fortunate than I am and other people in this world. Um, so always remember to give back. It's a good thing to do. It's good for your heart. Um, it's good karma too if you believe in that, which I do. So like always, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Go down there, subscribe, like the video. I appreciate every single one of you guys. We're growing in a great pace. I love helping the community out. So if you have any questions, also hit me up on Instagram. It's right there on the screen, Ricky underscore E92, or it's this way, Ricky underscore E92. <laughs> always, always, thank you guys so much for watching. Have a good day. Peace out.